Hello, my friends. Welcome back. And if you are new here, well, uh, hi and subscribe. All right, this is my first look by request at something called Libra Wolf. This is a fork of Firefox, as you see here, focusing on privacy, security, and freedom. All right, scroll down some more. All right, the main features are no telemetry, private search, content blocker, and so on. For this demonstration, a very brief look. Now, there are some installation options here, including Windows, Linux, and looks like Mac OS. Very good. Let's do the Windows version in this one. I've taken a look. Uh, I've taken a brief look at some videos on for the Linux version of LibreWolf. It seems to work fine for LibreWolf. So let's do Windows 11. By the way, if if you haven't tried Windows 11, I think you should. I installed Windows 11 on two older PCs and it works fantastic. Um, let's go to the spoke wheel here, settings, and manage more settings. I was playing briefly a little bit with this a few minutes earlier again if you are familiar with Firefox yeah this is very very similar alright so general startup always check if LibreWolf is your default browser tabs again nothing unusual here uh, scrolling down some more I don't think I did any changes here I was curious about this play DRM controlled content it's not enabled well, let's find out why and it says here that we disable DRM by default as we consider it to be a limitation to user freedom. All right, uh, fair enough. Uh, let's see, let's scroll down here. I don't think I did any changes here, no. All right, search. All right, the search bar. The default search engine is such is a DuckDuckGo, but if you scroll down some more, there are other search engines available such as Start Page and is Wikipedia a search engine? Hmm, I don't know. All right, scrolling down some more, find more search engines. Notice that the, well, yeah, Chrome is not there. Google is not there as far as a search engine, um, how to add a search engine. But yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just leave that the way it is for now. So moving along. All right, so let's see here. Anything else? Uh, no. Privacy and security. All right, so as far as tracking protection, I think in Firefox, when I use it, I have it set to standard for balance protection and performance. They have it set under strict. It says here, heads up. Okay, look up. Okay, stop. Uh, this setting may cause some websites to not display content correctly. You may have to go back to standard. All right. Uh, as far as do not track, I believe this was set to only when LibreWolf Libre Wolf is set to block known trackers. I clicked it to always. I mean, if we're gonna see pri if we're gonna be privacy paranoid, click always. Just a personal observation. Cookies and site data. Delete cookies and site data when LibreWolf is closed. Yeah. All right. Logins and password. Don't think I changed anything here. History. Clear history when LibreWolf. LibreWolf closes. That was set by default on that. Very good. Permissions. I don't think I touched anything there. HTTPS only mode. Yeah, enable HTTPS in all windows. Yes, you should. All right, some more LibreWolf preferences here. Uh, I don't think I made any changes here. Extensions and themes. I, I mean, if we're going to go full out privacy or close to it, I installed Privacy Badger. And uBlock Origin was already installed. All right, uh, let's see here. LibreWolf support. All right, more frequently asked questions here. Very good. Well, what can I say? Uh, yeah, this is just another variation of Firefox. If you are happy with Firefox and you have set your privacy settings to the max, as it were, in Firefox, uh, I don't see any, any compelling reason to switch to LibreWolf unless I missed uh, something. I have noticed in Linux that Firefox runs a little bit faster. So whatever the developers at Firefox have done to Firefox to make it, at least to me, appear faster, it's working, so keep up the good work. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Enjoy your red wine and a salute to privacy.